In this video, we are going to be reviewing how to request an inspection and upload our elevator acceptance form for new elevators or renovations to an existing elevator. The first thing you will need to do is go to the Henrico County Building Inspection website and download the blank inspection form, which must be completed. To find the form, please visit henrico.us slash BLDG. As you can see, I'm on, currently on our website. And in order to find the form, you will go over to the navigation panel. You will find elevators. You can select the little arrow for to drop to give you a drop down menu, and then you can select monthly inspection reports. Once you're under the monthly inspection reports section, you can then select blank and in inspection report, and then it will pop up for you so that you can print this form off and use it when you're doing your inspection out in the field. There are some necessary fields that are required on this form. The owner agent information is required if you already know that information. If you don't know that information, that's okay. That part does not need to be filled out. However, the remainder of the fields do need to be completed. Under the building location, it is required to have the location name, the street address, city, state, and zip. Under the elevator location ID, that's where you would put the elevator permit number. The, el the equipment sequence, we only use numerical sequences at Henrico, so it would be like a one, a two, a three, a four, and so on. The elevator type, whether it be hydraulic, electric, any other type of, of lift, Inspections for the month due, that field is not applicable. The code in effect is required. The key location and the alarm status is required. And then the bottom section of the form with the inspector's printed name, their signature, inspection agency name, their date, and any other information that is on that form would be required to submit with your inspection. Now, once you have done your third-party inspection, you'll need to upload this form. And as a quick side note, this elevator acceptance inspection and test report form is our required form for uploading for the third-party inspection. No other third-party inspection form is accepted. So in order to submit your elevator acceptance form, you will then go into your customer portal at buildhenrico.us. You'll want to make sure that you are logged into your customer portal. From your main home screen, you can find the permit by either going to your My Activities tab and finding the elevator in question, or if you do not see it in your list of permits under My Activities, you can always do a search for it by using the search function up at the top and select the uh, search for permits by address or search for permits by permit number. Either way to find the permit, you can do so. I am going to go through my activities tab though. And the one in question that I need to request my third party inspection, or not my third party inspection, but my inspection and upload my form is this first one here at 4480 Cox Road to request my inspection for Henrico County to review my Elevator acceptance form, I'm going to select request inspection. And then it will take me here. The contact information will be default of the person who applied for it. You will then select the day that you would like to have your inspection. It defaults to the next business day. You can select AM, PM, or any time. Special instructions for the inspector. I would always put please see attached acceptance form. The next thing you can do is under the document select upload. It will take you here. You'll want to choose the file so you can find it on your computer. You'll select elevator acceptance form or whatever you have named it and then select upload and then there's a description field that will pop for you with that at attached file. Please label it Elevator Acceptance Form for our inspectors. And then you'll request 
by placing a check in the box of elevator lift inspection. And as you can see in this instance, it's the mandatory inspection. And then you'll select request inspection. Once you request your inspection and get your confirmation that the inspection has been confirmed, as you can see here on the next business day, our inspectors will pull this inspection. They will review the inspection report and then, of course, pass or fail the inspection based on the information that is on the inspection request form.